Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. Our biggest January transfer window slash deadline day flops. Flops. I think for me, the one that sticks out is Torres. Mm. 50 million at the time was a transfer record yeah man um, th- I always remember at the time as well I couldn't believe it because he, he wasn't even playing well for Liverpool he'd already started to dip but this was like this was a dip we've never seen it was before. an Abramovich <laughs> transfer that was similar to Shevchenko it was a dip we'd never seen before like what what do you think Torres was the first of the curse <laughs> At Chelsea. Or no, the, Kesman was. But Ke- I thought Kesman was all right. I was like, oh, no, four, he oh, was five. That was years. Or Mutu. He was too busy doing other things. Who's yeah, Hamutu? Adrian Mutu. Oh, one. Adrian Mutu. I thought he said Hamutu. Mutu. <laughs> Adrian, I feel like Torres was. was the start of the number nine curse. So, like, in general, like, you can have shit players, but they sign big players like Torres, like Mewtwo. Mewtwo was signed for like 25 million. He's a mil. Pokemon. Yeah, but the way you see it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you say it correctly, you know. <laughs> Kame- Kesman isn't on Torres' level, wasn't on Torres' yeah, but they were signed for relatively similar money. Yeah, I guess so. But Torres had like, you Torres was literally PFA player of the year. Yeah, but 50 million at that point in time. A lot of money. Massive. It was but, massive. My point is still this, is that he flopped hard. He did. He that was did. the end of his career, essentially. Like, he, what did uh, he do? He went to Atletico for a bit. Yeah, and now he's, and like, now he's a fucking PT. Wham- <laughs> he's now he's a body builder. Yeah, he's he's the whammest unit. man in world football. He has retired. Did, did we have to count flops as in transfers that went through? Because for me, whenever I think a deadline there flops is the De Gea oh. two-minute fax machine. Oh, to, you know, um, to Madrid. Madrid yeah, 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 Wait, yeah. what's that? Talk to me. I don't know about this. They when, got the when, fax wrong. Yeah, when they, when they got the fax number wrong and they sent it either sent it to the wrong place or it didn't go through but he's, and what, they missed the deadline by two wasn't it, so, is this when they signed him no no, no. Get rid. they tried to get rid of David no yeah. Real Madrid, Madrid where, wanted he him, wanted yeah. to go to Madrid and it was all done but yeah. they got the because it was so late they, something went wrong with the fact similar to actually the last deadline Albion missed out on a loan <laughs> <laughs> no we missed this is this sums up our club right and I'm, yeah. I want to get on to what Jamie Carragher said about the worst ranked club in England because it's a fucking joke but he is right though no we? he ain't whatever you don't think Everton is Everton might be the worst run club in in, in the Premier League, yeah. maybe, just because they're performing badly yeah, yeah, on the yeah. pitch. There's club- <laughs> but the club that I support There's club- is fucking <laughs> shit. No, no. We- we'll get onto it. We'll get onto <laughs> it. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, onto, get it. onto it. But like, <laughs> Birmingham don't even know who own their club. Mm. Scunthorpe don't even know if they're getting paid. Like, there's, yeah. there's way worse. Anyway, but we missed out on the, I can't remember his name, the Brighton midfielder on loan because we spelt his name wrong on the <laughs> fucking form. That sums up our club. I've, I've done that. I've done that before when trying to get a flight. Fuck you, no. I've done that before. I've actually, I spelt my name wrong. And also, if you spell your name wrong more than four letters on a flight, you're not allowed to change the name. You have to pay for it. So if it's below three letters, spelling mistake wrong. How can you even do that, though? Because my, name, in, in, is, my name is Theodore. So I sometimes put yeah, Theo. Yeah, it's not like you've had it since you were fucking no, three. No, but I sometimes oh. put Theo. But that's a four spelling uh, letters wrong. Because you're missing the door. But the door. <laughs> well, that's the your own fault. I'm missing the it. D. <laughs> <That's> your... <laughs> you, know, you get away with it with yeah. Theod. Theod. Theod Greyjoy. My favourite my favorite deadline day thing, I think, is probably most people's favourite. Also, wait, really quickly before I touch on it. When did this David the Hair saga happen? Because I had have Like no... 2013? Yeah, like yeah, that. like eight. Oh, I was seven, only eight 10 years, years old, so I probably didn't know about it. Yeah, that was more, that was prime. You weren't that 10 years old? That was prime people standing outside a stadium. Uh, Harry with Redknapp. Like, with dildos. dildos. Yeah, yeah. 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 Was, my 2015. Was never, huh? 2015. Yeah, because it was one of my quiz questions and now I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll, ne- I'll never I mean, forget. you could have just not told yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's over, man. Yeah. Peter Odemwingi. Don't talk to me about that. What a hero that man is, you know. He, he's tried so hard to get a movie, just driven to clubs. Well, he did it once. Yeah. And it did break my heart, but... He I'll just sat outside him. like that. The lads let me in. The gate's closed. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. I don't think, we're, I don't think it's going through. Yeah, I mean... Oh, wait, do you reckon he's actually embarrassed by that? He must. There must. Uh, have, he, he is not an idiot. He's not, okay. He might be an idiot. No, no, no. He, he was. He was. Reason. He was severely badly advised, wasn't he? Yeah. He was told it's getting done. It's happening by obviously his agent or whatever, and then turned up and looked like an idiot. I think he thought he would turn up and it, the cameras would be like, "So you're happy to be here?" And they're like, "What the fuck are you doing?" But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like bad, <laughs> you see it all the time people are badly advised and it's I, I don't know what he was saying especially with a club like us who are so like 
we're like Daniel Levy on crack when it comes to yeah, signings, but how are. tight we are. So, <laughs> was there not another one like this when Ben Rama was trying to force a move to Spurs? Can you remember that? And he no, no, Stoke you City. mean Berahino? Berahino, yeah, 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 Berahino, Berahino yeah. to Sunderland. No, he was, he was Berahino to Al Albion. Wouldn't let. We wanted thirty mil. And 30 mil for Berahino Spurs Berahina. offered 28 and we were holding out for 2 mil and then a season oh. later he went to Stoke for like 10 mil and then now he's playing in like Belgium <laughs> why did you hold out for an extra 2 mil because that is our club yeah, it's quite, uh, you got to remember that 2 mil is quite a lot of money yeah but so it's 28 mil for Berahino oh no yeah. well, not at the time he was like the up and coming star he yeah. scored like I 15 remember. prem goals he was on fighter I, I, I wanted him to I felt sorry for him because I was like we were pretty shit at the time and he was carrying us and I was like, look, he's come through the ranks. He's going to make us nearly 30 million. Let the kid go, man. Like, he wants to go to a big club. And then he ends up going to Stoke for like 8 million this Appar season later. Apparently, he had a terrible attitude there. I think it was like Glenn Johnson talking about what he was like. And like you said outwardly, like he didn't he like him. him yeah. Like he did not like really? him. Really? Yeah, he just turned up to train and late on purpose. Would intentionally cause a nuisance, all sorts. And then when they all got punished for, like he wouldn't do runs after a match. And the whole team had to train the next day, and he didn't even turn up to the punishment training. Only well, you, know what? Cause. you know what? Only that shows sick. the difference between players. You know, you can have all the talent in the world, but if you don't mm. put hard work in, you'll never get anywhere in life. And that mm. right there is a statement for life. So put your heart and soul into everything you do, and don't be a talent wanker. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Abamyang. Mama blood clot, young. Oh, you, you, he's your flop. Mm. Just flop? To, what, to Arsenal? To Chelsea. To Chelsea. Was that on transfer deadline? Yeah. I think it was. Yeah, yeah. it was deadline day. Deadline. deadline day. Him, Dortmund to Arsenal was also deadline. Yeah, but that was a win for yeah, us. Yeah, no, that's what that I'm saying. That was a big win. He just loves a deadline day move. I think yeah. he gets a bit cold feet every now it's, and again. He goes, I want to get out of it's here. It's just the excitement, <laughs> isn't but it? But like, Aubameyang's <laughs> the biggest mistake, let's face it. No. Was his attitude when he left Arsenal and the, 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 the saga towards the end of it. That was his biggest mistake. He lost love. He fell out of love with the club think, and the and the, yeah. and the manager and the, I the think board. I think, and I think he likes cars. I think there's been worse, <laughs> worse situations than that, surely. But I mean, he, he signed for Barca to Chelsea to be number nine for Chelsea. I don't think he scored a goal. I can't remember. I don't think playing. he has scored, yeah. I don't, is he fit at the minute? Yeah. Yeah. He's on came, the bench. He came on against, who did they just play? I don't know. Oh, Chelsea. Oh, Liverpool. He came on oh. against Liverpool, didn't Oh, yeah. I didn't watch the game. Yeah. Out of interest, I think you're all forgetting a big one as well. Why not? Or Andy Carroll, 35 million deadline day, last, yeah, last second, went yeah, on to score like four goals. Yeah, but Carroll's like a he's like a boy, isn't he? Yeah, but it was 35 million. That, that was huge, huge yeah. at the time as well. It was ridiculous. I think, I think at the time it was like the to biggest Liverpool, fee yeah? for an English player. It was. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was to well, Liverpool. Yeah. Well, he was the most expensive English player. Yeah, absolutely yeah, broke my heart. Mike actually cashed in and didn't replace him, but like he ended up being rubbish. It was, no, but again, at the time, it was it was huge. He, he was, was unreal. Quality, yeah, yeah, he was, was, uh, he was playing really well. He what was is it? He was the snowball for massive transfer fees as well. Yeah, might, I think you're more likely to see a flop in a striker because there's so much pressure on striker. That like, it's the hardest thing to do in world football: score goals, as mm -hmm. we all know. Mm -hmm. Like if you go for like strikers, that's why strikers are the most expensive players because they have to score the goals, which mm -hmm. cause the money and everything like that but if you get given a price tag you, like that's your name like Jao Felix did the 120 yeah. mil move and that's all he's known as now yeah. and if he doesn't perform up to 120 million pound standard he's shit but that's, that's but it's not, not, but that's that's what, not up to that, them that's, that's, that's the levels isn't it? of what 125 million and it's worth, also how it? they deal with that some players thrive off that yeah I thought Grealish would thrive off that but he hasn't but he's he, not I think done it, awful though. No, he hasn't awful. done awful, but he hasn't been 100 million pound yeah. player, has He's it? also been in a different system though as well, hasn't he? Like, if you look at Harry Maguire, 80 million quid. No, I completely... That his, it's not his fault he's I worth completely get quid. that. And with, with Grealish, yeah, there's always factors. You could say, oh, well, if he had that and if he had that. But I'm talking like, I don't know, off the top of my head, players like... Oh, Ronaldo to Real Madrid for 80 mil. Or Neymar. Na Na Neymar, when he went to Barca, he was like, I don't give a fuck about this transfer. I'm playing for the biggest club in the world. Give me the ball and I'll show you what yeah, I can do. He's, he's generational. That's what I'm saying. That That's just a different level of mentality. I think some players, it's not their fault, the price tag, but also, it's, and it's all, it's all well and good saying, yeah, I'm buzzing, I can knock and deal with it. But actually in that moment, it's... When do you different. think we'll see the first £300 million transfer? 300 yeah. which when, player when, will it be as well like, so Mbappe. obviously we all know them now Neymar was what 220 220 yeah. that's, do you know how insane that is mm -hmm. well I think that's yeah. do you know how insane <laughs> like, remember when uh, Ronaldo 100 mil like, all these players getting signed for 80 mil Figo getting signed for like 45 mil it's like fuck 100 mil for a player like Ronaldo but what was the second most 220 million what's the one behind Neymar yeah Coutinho isn't it or is it Mbappe how much was Mbappe no Coutinho's 150 yeah how much it? was Mbappe to PSG 
I don't know. 200 mil? Was it? I don't think it was. Lewis, can you check? I don't think it was crazy, was it? It was. It was a lot. Was it? It was a lot, yeah. Was it more than Coutinho? I, I think so. It was the second. 135 million euros. Yeah, which is like 120. Like when yeah. Mbappe goes to Real Madrid in a few years, how much are they paying for him? Or are they getting him on a free because he runs down his contract at PSG? Um, it, it wouldn't surprise me because PSG don't care about the money. Yeah, they are owned by Qatar. Like Lionel Messi should have been the most expensive transfer in history. No, but you, you talk, I think Neymar's yeah, you, a bit you, you of an outlier. For, you pay for the years ahead of well, uh, yeah, but Messi's got a few years ahead, didn't he? And he's Lionel Messi. Yeah, but you get what max two, three. Yeah, years he would. He would have been like hundred and twenty mil or something like that. What does he sell for now? If someone wanted to price Messi, Messi with, see, he was open you to a move because you got to take in. You can't just take in the commercial the value. Yeah, commercial value exactly. Seventy mil. Yeah, eighty mil. I would have said. Yeah, hundred mil. Maybe. I think someone would probably pay that. Yeah. I think, I think, like, I think like, if PSG didn't have him, they would probably pay that. Or like a, 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 a Saudi Arabian team. Yeah, Al Nassar. Can you imagine they combine them together? <laughs> Messi and Ronaldo, same but thing. But I do think that Neymar's an outlier. I don't think that will become common. I don't no. think the best players in the world now will go for 220. I think that was no. just an outlier. Do you, think that was a bu- do you think that was a boom and now we're coming back down again? I don't think it was a boom. I just think that was... It wasn't relative. It was just, it was a bit stupid. stupid. It was a yeah. bit stupid. I think COVID made things a bit more steady again because all of a sudden yeah. teams are like realised, oh shit, all of a sudden things can go mental and we run out of money yeah. Yeah. and we have no revenue coming in. Mm. I only, I think Mbappe will end up going on a free, you know. I think he'll go on a free to Real Madrid, but Real Madrid is one of the wage few The wage bills, exactly. Fucking mental. He'll be on over a mil a week for sure. Because yeah. he, he, Wasn't he already offered that? He was already offered that in the. I don't in know what. You got to remember, he is a. He, wasn't he born in Paris and then played for money? He was a prisoner. Yeah, yeah, he's a prisoner. So like, he's at his home. People forget, like, oh, was he at a PSG? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He is. Lit- he's at his home club. Yeah. Like, he is a prisoner in the world. Probably. He's a Parisian. Yeah. Like, oh, he's a, so young. He's gonna end up moving to a Real Madrid, to a Arsenal. You know. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 